everybody, what is the friends? Or good afternoon or good evening. Oh, my tongue is clicking my guitar this morning. How is everyone doing this morning? Did everyone have a wonderful day yesterday? Has everyone had wonderful sleeps last night? Wonderful breakfast this morning? Maybe you've had wonderful lunch already? Have you gotten outside to play? Here at my house today, the weather is beautiful. It's lovely and sunny. And I'm looking forward to spending a bit of time in my garden this afternoon. Maybe I can water my plants. Maybe I could look at the lawns. Maybe I might even do something boring like hang some washing. But the weather is so lovely. It's definitely a day to spend a bit of time outside at our homes, isn't it? Now I want to do a few good morning shout outs to a few special watchers today. I want to say good morning or good afternoon. Hi to Kaya. Kaya, hi. Kaya has been watching all the way from Canada. I'm going to say morning at Ihoa. It's so lovely you've been watching. And we want to say good morning to Gwen. Hey, buddy. I'm so glad you're watching. How are you today? And I'll say good morning to Z. Hi, Z. Hi, Zach. How are you doing? Have you been watching at home with Mum and Dad? I'm so glad you guys have been watching. Shall we sing our good morning song with you guys in it this morning? Are you ready? Are you ready? Who's ready? What's going on with my guitar. Can somebody say, go guitar, go. Now, got to do it again. Go guitar, go. Still not working. Can we try one more time? Go guitar, go. Oh, thanks to whoever fixed it. You ready? The good morning trip. Woo, sorry. The good Morning train is coming, how are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming, how are you? The good morning, morning train is coming, the good morning train is coming, the good morning train is coming, how are you? And we'll stop to pick up Kaya, how are you? And we'll stop to pick up Gwen, how are you? And we'll stop to pick up Z, and we'll stop to up everybody and we're gonna say hi to everyone this morning. How are you? This beautiful weather this morning has got me remembering a song that I used to sing with one of my key peepee -pee, once upon a time Elsie when she was little and this beautiful sun is making me think of this wonderful song so I thought we could sing the song together this morning. Okay you guys ready? You are my sunshine, my only sun some things that we can do together this morning. Let's go. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can remember, but can you remember that I told you the other day that I was going to share the story with you of the two tanifa of Wellington Harbour, the two tanifa or Te Whanganui Atara from here in Wellington, and their names were Ngake and Fa Tai Tai. And these tanifa are really special to lots of us who live here in Wellington because they have formed the shape of where we live. So in Wellington, there was once a lake like this, and inside that lake lived these two tanifa, and I'm going to tell you that story. And one day, Ngake broke out of the lake, and he turned it into a harbour. So we've now got a little hole at the top of our lake, and that's when our ships, how, where they come into our harbour, and things like fish and whales and sharks come in there too. And Fa Tai Tai's body landed here on the land, and it, it is now one of our pieces of land here and I'm going to tell you the story of them about how they created the shape of this beautiful place where we live and then we're going to sing the song together again. Now I didn't have a puka puka of Ngā for Tai Tai here at my home so we're going to do a wee kind of like a puppet story. I've just done two little pictures. Oh they're very large. I didn't anticipate them being so big but that's okay. Okay you guys ready? Once upon a time there were two brothers called Ngāke 
and Fa Tai Tai. And these two Tanifa live together in the beautiful lake at the bottom of Te Ika Amawi, the top of Te Ika Amawi, Aroha Mai, at the top of the head Upoko o Te Ika Amawi. And they lived in a beautiful lake together. They would spend their days together playing and frolicking. Ngake loved to jump and he loved to splash and he was really energetic and he could do things like go and do big flips into the water. And his brother Fataite, he loved to watch. And Fataite loved to rest and sunbathe and spend time with his brother Ngake. One day, when they were sitting around, chilling out in their beautiful lake, Ngake came up with an idea. He said to Fataite, can you hear that sound? I can hear this beautiful splashing in the ocean and I so desperately want to go and see what's out there. Imagine huge oceans that we could explore, huge places we could play and splash instead of being stuck in this teeny tiny lake. The Tai Tai said, yeah, I can hear it, but I'm really happy here. I want to stay here in my home. And Naka said, no, 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 come on, we've got to go. Let's break out of this lake and go exploring. And Fa Tai Tai said, no, I just, I want to stay here. This is my home. This is where I feel safe. But one day, Ngake decided he was going to give it a go anyway. He could hear that call of the ocean and he could hear the splashing of the waves and he could hear all the amazing creatures that live there in Tangaroa's realm. And he so desperately needed to go. So he told his brother Fataita, I'm going to get ready and I'm going to do it. So he sped himself all the way to the back of the lake and he got himself all geared up. Now Ngake was strong, he had a big strong body because he spent so much of his time exercising and leaping and playing and spinning around in the water. So he had a really strong body and he sat at the back of the lake and he looked over there and he said, right, I know that the ocean's over there, I'm going to crash my way out of here. So he gathered all of his might and he focused, focused, focused and he went and he burst through the rocks and he made a big hole in the rocks and he made it out to the ocean. Ngake was filled with joy. He was so happy. There was so much water. There was so much space to explore. He was filled with excitement and happiness when he had the whole ocean to explore. And his brother Fatai Tai had watched all of this. And he sat there in his lake and he watched. And Fatai Tai really loved it there in his home. And he didn't want to go exploring, but he looked over there to where his brother Ngake was, way out there in the ocean. And Fatai Tai really missed his brother. So he said, Okay, I want to go and join my brother. So he got ready to do the same thing. And he moved his body to the back of the lake. And he sped up with all of his might. But remember, Fataita wasn't as strong as Ngake because he hadn't been doing as much exercise. He liked to relax and enjoy his time in the lake. So he really, and he smashed into the rocks. But poor Fataita didn't make it through the rocks. Where Ngake had burst a big hole, Fataita was just near him, but he didn't make a hole and he got stuck on those rocks. Poor Fataita was stuck. And at a big distance, really far away, he could hear Ngake splashing and off exploring further and further into the ocean. But Fataitai couldn't get off of the rocks. Poor Fataitai, over time, he passed away and slowly his body became the land. His spirit left his body and became a bird. And the bird flew to the top of Matairangi, the beautiful manga here in Wellington. And there it cried for the loss of Fataitai. We call it Tangi Te Keo, the cry of Keo, the bird. And the bird spirit sits on top of a beautiful maunga, a tairangi. And so Fataitai's body became some of our whenua, some of our land that we now live upon and we get to explore. And we always remember our beautiful Tangifa, Fataitai, who passed away there. And somewhere out there in the ocean, still splashing about, is our friend Ngake. And he's out exploring the ocean. And sometimes when you hear psh, 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 out in the ocean, maybe there might be Ngake splashing around. Maybe he'll come back one day. Now that's a retelling, serious version of the story of Ngake of Tai Tai. 
So I just want to sing that version of our song again about Mark Amphitite, One Day Too Tiny Far. Would you guys like to join me? One day too tiny far Went swimming in the moana In the rotori lake Ngake whispered in fatai ties taringa Won't you come away with me? There's such a lot to see Out there in the deep blue sea But I said, oh no, no, no I don't want to go, go, go Guys, while we're talking about things that are in our ocean, I thought we could do a really fun song that was taught to me by my friend Kitty, and this is called Kerara Iti Moana, and this one's really fun. It's about a mako and a tuatara who are in the ocean. Should we sing it together? There's some action, so you guys can kind of do some of the actions and have a wee kani kani with me. You ready? Okay, tahi, tua, toru, fa. Kerara Iti Moana. Ko mako me tuatara e aha ana e matukai ana e matukai ana araua araua koa e mataku oh koa e ohorere ah ko mako me tuatara ke raro iti moana you ready we're going to be a tiny fat ready go tiny fat tiny fat pee pee this way, tani fa, tani fa, pee pee pee. The other way, tani fa, tani fa, pee pee pee. Tani fa, tani fa, pee pee pee. Ko makume tu atara kerado iti moana. Should do it one more time. Kerado iti moana. Ko makume tu atara e aha ana e matukai ana e matukai ana. Araua, araua, koa e mataku, oh, koa e ohorere, ah, ko mako me tu atara, ke raro i te moa ana, get your tanifa ready, tanifa, tanifa, pee, 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 in this way, tanifa, tanifa, pee, 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 and again, Tanifa, tanifa, pee, pee, pee. And again, tanifa, tanifa, pee, pee, pee. Ko maku me tu atara, kei raro iti moana. Okay, guys. Are we ready for a little bit of what's in the bag? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. What's in the bag? Can you see? <gasps> Did you see what was in there? Let's go with that. What's in the bag? Can you see? <gasps> One more time. What's in the bag? Can you see? Can we see what's hiding in the bottom of well, my basket? Who's this? Who's this? It's a little dinosaur. A little mokonui dinosaur. Now, I thought we could do something a little bit fun today. I've got some special cups here. And I thought we could do a bit of a hiding game. Okay, you ready? We've got our table. Okay, there's our table for today. Okay. Tahi. Rua. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this one around, turn this one around, turn this one around, and in here I'm going to hide our mokonui, our dinosaur. Okay, so, in this one is our dinosaur, and here is nothing, and here is nothing. What we're going to do is we're going to mix them up a little bit. And see if you guys can work out which one our dinosaur is hiding in. Are you ready? 
We're gonna go. Which one do you guys think the dinosaur? Which one do you think the dinosaur is hiding in? Kahiete Mokonui? Was that our word for dinosaur? Mokonui. Okay. Kahiete Mokonui. Is it in this one? This one or this one? In number one, two, or three? You ready? Not in number one. Is it in number two? Yes! There he is! There's our Mokonui. Hi, guys. Should we play it again? Shall I go hiding in one of the cups and you can see if you can find me? Should we do it again? Okay, I'm going to put him back in there. Okay. So we got this one. No dinosaur. This one. No dinosaur. And our dinosaur is hiding in this one. Okay, you ready? Okay. We've got numbers one, two, and three. Okay, you hear Tim Makanui. Which one is he in? Which one is he in? Is he in Kehiti Mokonui? Sarah's trying to learn a new kupu today and it's just not getting stuck in my noggin. Let's go, everyone, let's learn the word together. Mokonui, 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 dinosaur. Okay, which one is he hiding in? Tahi, Rua, or Toru? Have you made your guess? Are you ready? Is he in number one? <gasps> he is! Hi, Mr. Mokonui. There he is again. Should you do it again? Okay, you're watching really closely. Okay. Okay, that one was a bit quick. Did that get trickier? Okay. Okay, here, dear Mokunui. In one, two, or three. Did you follow it? Do you know where he is? Ready? Is he in number one? Is he in number two? <gasps> there he fell over. There he is. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Okay, we're going to do a real quick one again. You ready? It's going to be even quicker. Even quicker, 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 quicker. Here we go. <laughs> Any idea where the dino went? Okay, here to Mokonui. Tien Mokonui. Let's have a look. Tahi, Rua, Toru. Is he in number one? Is he in number two? Nope. He must be in number three. There he is. Should we practice that sentence together again? Because Sarah made a few mistakes. We go. Kei here, te mokunui. Where is the dinosaur? There he is. All right, I'm going to put my cups away. Should we try something else now? All right, guys. We have a little bit of a cunny cunny before we finish up for today. Should we do a little bit of an action song? Just a little bit of a reminder. So paki paki. Cunny cunny. Have a little dance. I don't know how to dance on the spot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There you go. Kani, kani. Oma, oma. We can do ready, ready. And mm, picky, picky. Can you guys jump? Picky, picky. <laughs> and ear moi. And ear oho. Ready? We're going to be pucky, pucky clapping first. Ready? Tahiru o toru. Fa. Pucky, 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 pucky. Tamariki ma. Pucky, pucky. Paki paki tamariki ma. Turn around, hoodie hoodie. Hoodie 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 tamariki ma. Hoodie 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 tamariki ma. Flying. Re 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 tamariki ma. Re 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 tamariki ma. Dancing. Kani kani kani.
with a nice relaxing wayata and then get ready for the rest of our days whatever you guys are doing i hope you've had some lovely time to enjoy the beautiful sunshine we've got today i am going to go make myself a nice cup of coffee and do some work and then i'm going to water my plants because it's a day for watering plants in my home Okay, my lovely friends, I hope that everyone has a wonderful day. I'm going to send you guys all my aroha. Can you give yourselves a really big cuddle? Wrap your arms around yourselves and give yourselves a big hug and a squeeze. And I hope you guys are showing yourselves lots of kindness and your parents lots of kindness and your siblings and your grandparents and your friends and your pets, anyone who's at home in your bubble right now, show them all of your kindness. I'm going to say ka kite a popo. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Have a wonderful day.